My name is Quan Dong Nguyen. I'm currently a professor of ophthalmology at the Stanford uh, University Bayer Eye Institute in Palo Alto. Actually, the Sakura program are two studies that are looking at the role of intravitreal serolimus for non-infectious uveitis. Now, we are presenting the study result at this year, 2017, uh, ARVO meeting, along with some other meeting this year. However, the work for it has been done many years ago. We start on it uh, about seven years ago when I was among the first individual in the world to actually look at this molecule for uh, non-infectious uveitis. So our phase one study called a SAFE study uh, was started about seven years ago. When we first looked at uh, subconjunctival versus intravitreal serolimus for uveitis, non-infectious uveitis. At that time, we had noted some evidence of bioactivities and the safety level was well tolerated. So we moved forward to the SAVE-2, which was a phase two study. And at the same time, because of that success, uh, the sponsor, uh, the manufacturer of serolimus decided to move forward to phase three program, which we have helped to uh, conduct and concluded. So the Sakura program consists of two studies, Sakura-1 and Sakura-2, two consecutive study that together comprise approximately 600 subjects, which is currently the largest uh, program for uveitis study of, uh, ever conducted for uh, non-infectious uveitis investigating in a pharmacologic agent. So we're quite excited that the outcome has been uh, very much supportive of what we have learned so far. And um, that is uh, the particular dose, one particular dose in the trial the 440 microgram of intravitreal serolimus has been demonstrated to show the greatest ability in decreasing vitreous haze, which was the primary endpoint uh, for the clinical patient in, in the trial, and the patient did quite well with that. But in addition, recognizing that vitreous haze is not the only factor or the only parameter that colleague in uveitis who manage patients with uveitis do on a daily basis. We also look at other uh, parameters such as visual acuity, retinal thickness in cases where there's uveitic macular edema, as well as cell counts, as well as um, intraocular pressure. And thus far, everything seems to be quite favorable and show a consistent uh, benefit to risk ratio of that particular dose of, of serolimus 440 microgram. If the FDA approve it, uh, and currently it's being filed right now for indication at, at the FDA. If the FDA approve it, it will become the first uh, locally deliver of a immuno uh, uh, regulating agent, immunomodulating agent, and immunosuppressive agent that's had ever approved for the treatment of non-infectious uveitis. And it's quite exciting for us that, that, that we finally, hopefully, will be able to have such an agent. Mm -hmm.